Welcome to Debutante Renegade. On today's show, I'm going to be talking about the importance of something to look forward to. Now, this is this is kind of an experimental topic for me because I don't know how other people in the world feel about this. I haven't talked about it with anybody. This is just very much a personal thing for me, but I want to share it because I wonder if anyone else out there resonates with this or if this is relevant for other people or in hearing about this, if you're like, huh, I'm, I want to try that. That's that's really interesting. That, that resonates. Um, and what I mean by the importance of something to look forward to is... You know, we all go about our daily lives with our, you know, our chores, our jobs, our obligations to our families, our children, etc. You know, um, and and you know, we have our social plans and this and that. Um, and maybe some of those things, maybe you do have something with your work that is giving you something to look forward to, whether it's a retreat or a presentation that you're going to be doing, or you know a gig that that you've got coming up and you're really looking forward to that and you're excited about that so that would be something to look forward to but sometimes you know especially for me during the pandemic where it was like two years of you know having a hard time having things to look forward to um i found that i found that when i had nothing to look forward to I felt kind of depressed, a little indifferent about things, just not really excited and motivated in life to do the things that I have to do. Um, So I figured this out recently. I would say in the last like three months, I figured out that I need, I really need stuff to look forward to. Perfect example, a few weeks ago, my boyfriend was out of town. He was out of town for like a week and a half. And the whole time he was gone, I I missed him like crazy. But I got so much done. I got so much done around the house. I organized things that had needed to be organized for months. I got so much done in terms of my work. I, I just got so much done. I didn't really have any downtime. I didn't really relax. I spent some really amazing time with my son. Like I got so much done. I was just so productive and I was like excited about being productive and getting a lot done. And I realized that I was really motivated because I had this thing to look forward to, which was my boyfriend coming home. You know, I really wanted everything in the house to be amazing. I wanted to have really good food. So I made like these wonderful dishes. Like I just wanted everything to be really nice and I wanted to be organized and have things going well in my own life. And a lot of that had to do with just being really excited to see him again. And almost like, you know, when it's the beginning of a relationship and you really want to impress the person. And so you're, you know, you're being really mindful about what you're eating and you're working out and you've got interesting things going on in your work and you're making sure that you have interesting things going on so you can talk about those interesting things and whatever. And maybe you don't do any of that, but I I do, I have. Um, It kind of felt like that with my boyfriend being gone. It kind of made it feel like it did in the beginning, like sort of excited. Um, So I made sure that I had a lot going on and it just it felt so good to have this thing to look forward to but then I noticed once he came back into town and the kind of initial excitement wore off I found myself kind of hmm, dipping back into a little bit of malaise um, and feeling like huh you know I felt so good when he was out of town why you know what was it that like made that feel good was it just because I got to be by myself like what are the reasons and I really looked at it and I realized that it was because I was looking forward to him coming home so I did all these things um in in preparation if you will like that 
that sort of forward thinking thing, that that thing in the future, that event in the future gave me something to be excited about. And so I realized that I needed that. And I, I talked about on one of my other shows, you know, this night where I decided to get ready, like put makeup on, like get myself dolled up just for that. I, Cause I needed that feeling, that excited feeling of like, I'm going out somewhere, even though I wasn't going out anywhere. I just needed to feel like pretend that I had something to look forward to. I was craving that exact feeling where I wanted something to look forward to. I needed something to look forward to. So I realized this about myself that for me to really be the best, most productive version of myself in the world, I need things to look forward to. You know, whether it's something with a friend, whether it's a weekend away, whether it's a project that I'm working on, I need to create these things for myself that give me something to be excited about, that give me something to look forward to. If I don't have something that I'm excited about on my calendar, then I feel kind of bored and unmotivated and almost a little hopeless in this way. Um, So yeah, that's me. I don't know if anybody else relates to that. <laughs> um, and and maybe just hearing this, you do relate to it. And you're like, huh, I never thought about that. But that makes sense. And you know, if you do find yourself kind of frequently feeling kind of uninspired or unexcited by things, then I recommend putting something on your calendar that excites you, whether you book a trip with a friend or decide to have a get together or go to a get together or, you know, get tickets to a show or, you know, an an art gallery event or anything like whatever it is that you like, or even decide that you're going to go eat at a restaurant that you've been wanting to go to, or you've been wanting to try for a while, like set the date, like give yourself something to look forward to and be excited about, um, and see if it works for you. It seems, it seems to work for me. I'll, uh, I'll check in in a few months and, and let you know how, how that's still going. Cause this is a very new realization. And I've, I'm, I've really started, um, in my like list of things to do, pointing things on my calendar that give me something to look forward to and be excited about. And yeah, so far it is working, but sometimes if I put too many things on there, then I get stressed out. And when I'm stressed out, I can be grumpy. Um, anyone else relate to that? <laughs> so it's all about finding the balance. <laughs> it's all about finding the balance, finding the balance. Um, anyway, I hope that's helpful to somebody out there. Thanks so much for watching, for listening. If you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, comment, share, whatever you like to do. Oh, and I keep forgetting to say this. Um, if you have a relationship, dating, even if it's just a life question that you want to ask me, um, go to my Instagram, which is at debutante renegade, um, and send me a PM, send me a PM and you could get featured. I could answer your question for a show totally anonymous, unless you don't want it to be, of course, but I, in general, I do these things anonymously. I've been doing this. I've done a couple already. Uh, it's really fun. I like it. So if you have a question and you want it, you want me to answer it, then send it as a PM to my Instagram at Debutant Renegade, which there's, it'll be linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful rest of your day.